just was so amazed that I would get this opportunity to get to program a few days at, a, at this venue, you know, I mean, what, what an opportunity. So right from the beginning, I was hugely excited by the opportunity to share some of the music that I love with people. But a lot of the time as we were programming, I was thinking quite selfishly. It was like, what would I, what would I want to spend four days immersing in and listening to? It felt really important to me to include what I think of as my root, the Indian classical music root which I grew up with, which I was learning from my father, the great Ravi Shankar. So we began the festival with two of the great classical Indian vocalists from the north and south of India. And then over the course of the next three days we, we moved and we traveled in all different kinds of ways. Um, I presented a soundtrack to a film from India that was almost 100 years old. We had you know, very theatrical, classical and innovative dance from both the north and south of India and contemporary dance as well. We had music that moved into kind of Indian music interacting with jazz, Indian music with electronics, uh, music that is just at the top quality no matter what genre it is. And I think maybe what people I find have in common are that they're all people that have a really strong sense of integrity and authenticity about who they are. And, and they're unapologetic about the way they present that in their music. And it comes out in ways that is really, really fascinating and forward-thinking and, and important. I think each of their voices are really important. Hi, my name's Shomik Data. Um, I'm a Sarod player, this is a Sarod, uh, and I live in London, I'm a composer, and it's great to be here. Anushka and I met uh, a long time ago, many years ago in London. Uh, there's a wonderful, thriving sort of Indian and crossover Indian music scene over there. And uh, she's really a pioneer on that scene. So we met there and uh, we've done lots of things together. We've you know, played on albums and uh, played in each other's concerts. And uh, it's great that she can curate this festival here in Hamburg and bring you know, the community of Indian musicians from all over the world. My name's Akash Odedra. I'm a dancer, a soloist, and a choreographer. I think everyone knows Anushka Shankar on every level. Her father, Ravi Shankar, is like the nation's father in a way. So we feel like we know her even before we know her. And um, I think with Anushka, I feel a great deal of support. She's always come to my shows. She's, um, you know, we meet normally once a month and um, we have a real good connection and I have a lot of respect for her and the work that she's doing. My name is Sarathi Korwar. I'm a musician, a percussionist, drummer, originally from India, but living in London now. Anushka and I met through a common friend and uh, I've been a fan of hers for a long, long time and uh, we sort of gravitated towards each other because uh, she's an amazing human being and an amazing musician. And uh, we share a lot in common in terms of our love for Indian classical music and improvised music. So yeah, that's how we've been friends. Anushka Shankar is a musician who I have so much respect for. I think in the UK there's a very small group of South Asian women in music and South Asian creators and we've all found each other and all found a way to support each other and so we've really come together in the last couple of years. Um, in fact a lot of the artists on this bill, we've all found each other and support each other and that's how I got invited to perform at Reflector. I just consider myself to be really lucky to be here. You know at some point uh, you have to look at the diaspora um, of Indian people and, and they live all over the world and there are cultures mixing all the time. You know, I think what this festival does brilliantly is showcase the wealth of um, what Indian music means. It's really the face of what um, uh, it means to be Indian today. Yeah, the world's become smaller now. The world's become smaller. We don't travel on boats for three months to get from one place to the other. Things are not so exotic anymore. We see people of every nation, nationality around us all the time. Um, and I think that's really important to embrace now. And I think that sort of cross-pollination 
from different flower beds is really healthy and really important to create a new hybrid vision of life and art. It really felt like a festival. It felt like a real coming together of artists, many of whom knew each other through sometimes connections I didn't even know about, uh, but a lot of them were being introduced to each other for the first time as well. And so there were all these incredible uh, strands that were weaving together. We had musicians from India, from Great Britain, we had artists from America and from Germany. And it just felt like such an incredible collective and, uh, and just one of the most warm and loving and creative few days I can remember having in a long time. I come away from Reflector feeling deeply inspired uh, by the quality of art that I have seen from my peers, from my loved ones. But also I really enjoyed this role. I really enjoyed being able to be creative in this way and, and um, I might like to do more of it. <laughs>